one. Hi, kids. I'm Mr. Wilson. And who do we have here? I'm the old Mr. Duda, as opposed to the, the young old Mr. Mr. Duda. Duda. Hey! And we are two guys, a map, and no place to go. I don't have any place to go. You have any place to I go? I have any place to go. Right. We're right here, though, to help you guys with one of the sixth grade social study standards about Latin America. The standard says that you need to be able to explain major environmental concerns. We've got destruction of the Amazon rainforest. Air pollution in Mexico City. And we have oil-related damage in Venezuela. Wait, did you say Latin America? And the Caribbean. Oh, well, e pluribus union. What are you talking about, Mr. Duda? That's Latin. Okay. I That's think Latin. we're talking about Latin America in a whole different way. Of course, we call it Latin America because... The main language is spoken down there. Is Latin. Spanish. Latin. And Portuguese. Latin. Are mainly, they come from Latin oh. way back when. Those are languages that came up, what we call Latin oh. America. I was being impromptu. Oh, there's another one right there. It's a Latin word. Hey, let's go and get started talking about some environmental problems. Per se? So, we've got, knock that off. We've got the destruction of the Amazon rainforest. Bad. Yeah, is it the Amazon's important, is it yeah, not? Bad. Yeah, like if you could be an old guy and you need medicine and stuff. Oh. Where's my medicine? I'm an old guy. I need medicine. You, you got medicine? I, I'm your doctor. I've oh. got some medicine for you, right? Medicine, now. good, yeah. It came from wait, the Amazon wait. rainforest. Oh, I'm cured. Look. Oh, yeah, cured for old age. <laughs> so, uh, according to National <laughs> Geographic, around 20% of the world's oxygen is produced in the Amazon rainforest. Oxygen is good. <laughs> it is pretty good, yes. Especially when you've got to breathe. That's and plus there, there are tongues of plants and animals, some of which we don't even know about yet, absolutely, probably. Absolutely, That uh, are important people who live back there in the rainforest also. So, what are some of the reasons why the Amazon rainforest is being destroyed? Glad you could ask. There's cattle ranching. Ah, uh, we got a cow on Ooh. hand. Ooh, I can't, I, I can't get out of the rainforest because I have this bob, bob wire yeah, thing. Yeah, so... <laughs> So, people go to the Amazon, they want to make money, and one of the big money makers is cattle ranching. Absolutely. They will, they will uh, slash and burn a large area, raise cattle on it, and make lots of money. That's one of the big points. Another reason they cut down large parts of the Amazon is for farming. Don't stick your hands in that. They it's farm, the farm they products. grow stuff. There farm you go. Products. So soybeans, one of the biggies right there. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay, another thing that we have is the timber industry. They want to cut down trees, boom, for their wood. Especially very valuable trees like the mahogany. Yes. Uh, you can build expensive furniture with so it all comes down to the money basically. Now we've got another all comes down to that. The second one of our major environmental concerns, Mr. Duda, is? Air pollution in Mexico City. Air pollution in Mexico but City. But I'm ready. He's ready for it. Go ahead. Tell me all about air pollution in Mexico City. So, guys, in 1992, the United Nations declared Mexico City to be the most polluted city on Earth. Six years later, it was... Uh, described as the most dangerous city in the world for children. They say just living there, breathing the air, was like breathing in a pack of cigarettes a day. Birds were dropping out of the sky, dead. Now, they've been working hard. There's a bird. Dropping dead. But it's on a piece of wood here. The, the whole wood it was carrying out. the wood. Now it's like dead, it's dead wood. Okay, it's dead bird, dead wood. So. This is often that Mexico City has been working very hard to clean up the problem, but what are some of the main reasons for this? We have, I got a Mexico flag there. We got an ancient Mexico guy. I don't know who that is. So, we too got many people. Huge There's too population. many people. There's people. People have to get from around, point A to point around B. 20 million people live that's, in Mexico that's City. That's a lot. That's like if you were in, Atlanta, in Marietta and you wanted to go to Atlanta. You go like Marietta to Atlanta to Marietta to Atlanta to Marietta to Atlanta to Marietta there to Atlanta. There you go. And you're still in Mexico City. That's how big it is. Okay. So 
we've we've also got uh, these people need to get around. Talking about them getting getting around this huge city, what are they driving? Buses, cars. Yeah, buses, cars, trucks, and many of these are old vehicles too that produce a lot of pollution. So that's a a big problem. They're actually doing some experimenting right now, trying to promote electric taxis right now. We'll see. Maybe it'll make a, a dent in it, getting rid of old buses. But this has been part of the problem. The huge population, the cars. We had a car around here. What happened to our car? It drove oh, it's away. behind you, Mr. Duda. It drove away. It's behind you. There we go. Yeah. Car. Looks more like a Cuban car here, but you get the point. Hey, also, a lot of industry, factories. They, they produce stuff, like cars. Exactly. And... Mexico City is surrounded by Ma Madres, the mountains. See, it's in the crater of an extinct volcano, a little trivia for you. Did not know that. Now you do. I thought it was built on a lake. Well, that was when it was Tenochtitlan, yeah, the well, famous that's, Aztec That's another city. video. We have to watch that. Yeah, you can watch the other video to help you get ready for the, the Latin American history test. So, uh, and then we have uh, well, the surrounding mountains. They trap in the, uh, the pollution. Plus, Mexico City is at a high altitude, which gets kind of complex, but it makes the, uh, the car engines just not process the fuel as cleanly as they ordinarily would. All right, now we just have one more problem to tell you about. Problem what do you is got there? Somebody left this up? stuff. This is oil-related damage in... Lake Maracaibo. Which is in Venezuela. It's the largest lake in South America, and it's located in Venezuela. It is nasty, nasty. Now, you think this is nasty. Lake so, Maracaibo. yeah, they have, they have oil... Uh, spills, oil slicks out there. Because they're drilling in the middle of the lake, they have the oil things out there. Right, so just producing a ton of oil, this is one of the problems. They've been criticized for having a lot of workers who are not very well trained. I don't know if that's true or not, that's what I've been told. So, uh, you know, producing the oil, if this is Venezuela's big money maker, is it not? Get some money there. Back to the money thing. Back to the money. It all comes, yeah. kind of comes back to the money. It does come it? back to the money. Yeah. Right. Making it rain in the rainforest here. Yeah. So, there, there we have it. We got uh, the three major environmental problems of Latin America that are featured in our stamps. We've got the destruction of the Amazon rainforest. We've got the air pollution in. Rainforest. Oh, we've got the rainforest. Okay. I'm going to do that because it's important. You got it. You realize you're bringing us some bad luck right now. You know what? I'm not so sure that these is real lucky anyway, because here we are, and there we go. Uh oh, look out! Oh man, there we go. See, so I can't. They can't see me. So we can't. Air pollution in Mexico City. Oh, uh, oil related uh, oil damage, related damage in, uh, in Venezuela. Venezuela. Yeah. So guys, good luck. This will be on a test. Well, get your mask back on here. Mask, Mr. Yeah. Uh, there we go. I'm in the rainforest. I know. Well, now we just left. Make sure you study for the test, otherwise you'll be old and, and still in the sixth grade because you don't pass the test. Like us. Yeah, yes. Old guys, yeah. Hey, guys, hope this helps. Study, and we'll see you in class. Bye.